I'm Chris, this is Ephraim Stalsfus, and we are working with a group of people and our goal is to take this building and turn it into a business that is a social enterprise. Uh, our goal is to uh, have a, a Middle Eastern uh, Somali restaurant here uh, on this side and then on the other side we would like to have a fresh meat market. Our goal is to uh, take to hire refugees that have come to Lancaster from Somalia, Sudan, Iraq and places like that and provide them with jobs that, uh, that can provide a living wage. Uh, so we have been, we have been offered uh, $150,000 or so to start the project and so we're excited about it. We hope the city will work with us. We hope the, 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 the zoning officers and whoever's involved will work with us. Uh, we want to we provide something beautiful in the neighborhood. We want to beautify this place. I live just around the corner from here, so I'm very interested in the neighborhood and creating a beautiful space here for our neighborhood to enjoy and for the city to enjoy, for other people to come into the city, uh, to interact with refugees, to learn about refugees coming to Lancaster. So that's in a nutshell uh, what we're hoping to do. In the following video, you're going to see how this whole process works. Of us supporting the local farmers and then the actual footage of how the fresh meat market looks from the inside with the live animals there. I think you're going to enjoy it very much. As you can see, as after the delivery, as soon as possible, we clean these places up. We regularly pressure wash them and clean them with disinfect because we're very concerned about keeping them clean and healthy. The animals here stay, stay very healthy at the live markets. At this location, we've got the bathroom, nice and clean. Over there, that section is where they store the animals. Here's where they're cleaned and processed. They come out this end and then the customers settle up over here and they pay for their animals and then they leave. This is only one of the three shops here in Philly that I know of where they have live markets. They have a scales of this shop where the animal is taken in, it's weighed and then the customer decides if he wants to pay that much or if he wants a smaller one or a larger one. He can choose, it's like a, like a store where he can choose which one he wants and then it's taken and killed and then cut up to his specifics for him. The chickens are safely in their pens and their roaming areas. We now have the empty crates which are going to go back to the farmer. Normally the crates are taken and washed after every use at an official inspector crate washer in Lancaster County. They wash them, they inspect them, and they stamp them. Stamp the papers and it's inspected by the USDA as well. All these live markets, regardless of the location, whether it's here in Philly, whether it's in New York City where they have more than 30, I think more, actually 99 of these shops in, in New York City, Patterson, New Jersey, New York, New Jersey, Chicago, Columbus, Cincinnati, Ohio, and many, many more locations. Regardless of the location, they're kept under very strict USDA regulations. 
If they're inspected and they fail to pass, they're shut down immediately and will not resume their business until they're approved by the USDA. So from a consumer's standpoint, we don't need to be overly concerned from the live markets. In fact, the, the animals normally from a live market are kept very healthy. Here are the live markets, the people come and they actually see the animal and they say, I don't want this one, but I want this one. And they can choose by quality and color and size and availability. So uh, they just cleaned five chickens for me and they're ready to go home to put in the crock pot and they will be delicious. Now as we see in the inside of this live market, if you look just right across the street, there's halal meat, it's fresh quality. This meat is stamped with a USDA stamp. Inspector, he'll be at a location like this, he examines the animal before it's killed, he'll stamp it with his stamp and then the meat is sold at a corner store all over Philly. There are many markets like that one up the street here in this city. There's only, I think, three or four live markets where the customer walks in, chooses the live animal, and it's killed according to his specs. My name is Abdul Mossad, uh, owner of Sublife Poultry, established in 1998. I, I own nine stores, six of them in New York City, one of them in Philadelphia, one in Connecticut, and one in Oakland, California. Chicken markets is good for the people because people like to see what they're eating and they like to see it while, while it's alive, it's healthy and they see the way we process it and they see it in their table. In New York City there's 96 markets all over New York City. My name is Raymond Samawi. Um, originally from the Middle East, I came here during the uh, war in uh, Lebanon, Beirut in 1975 and I was a refugee once and I know the refugees uh, what they need as, as a Middle Eastern and opening a business here, a uh, life market in this area, it will really improve the economic and the social life in Lancaster City and will reach out to the uh, refugees and give them opportunity and job uh, to work and it will um, create a revenue for an income for many people and it really improve the city life and social and economic um, to not only the city and it will bring other people from outside Lancaster City uh, to visit and to um, you know buy what they need in this area. My name is Joel Peña, I'm pastor of Alpha and Omega Church of the Brethren and uh, director of Alpha and Omega Community Center uh, here in Lancaster and the Wabank with Lower Street. I'm very excited for the idea to, to build a business center, ethnic business center that includes a restaurant and a meat market. Uh, I think it will be a, a good asset for the community. God bless, thank you. I'm here with my neighbor, Pedro. And uh, we've been talking about what we plan to do over here, what we hope to do. So, uh, Pedro, what do you think of the idea of an ethnic business center, restaurant, uh, that's a very fresh good, meat market? That's a very good idea. That's a nice idea. Because we have a restaurant over here in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be there to check what's going on, check the fresh meat and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, Pedro, what about... Uh, how do you think it'll make the neighborhood more beautiful, a more better place to live? I think the neighbor will get me together because that neighbor here don't they don't know each other, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So now I think it's gonna be closer, make it more friend. Yeah, just seems like that. Okay, Wendell, what do you think of the idea of a fresh meat market here in the city? Oh I think it's a great idea. I think the neighborhood needs it, especially in this part of town. It, it's a it's a much needed thing. Because there's no markets right here. Uh, Giant would be the closest on the northeast side. And then we have Wise over there by Manor. And I think this right here would be perfect for the neighborhood. Um, be another market, fresh market. We have Central Market in, in the square. And then we have the northeast market down there on uh, East King Street. Mm -hmm. So this would be bringing food to this part of town. Yeah. All right, you guys are live right here, right? Right yeah. up the street? Yeah, yeah, right up the street. We're thinking about doing this 
fresh meat market where you can buy live chicken, goats, lambs. What do you think about this idea? Well, it's kind of that's a good idea. idea. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a much needed idea for the community and for yeah. the neighborhood. We as a Somali people like to eat the fresh meat. That's our culture, that's our, the way we know. So we go as far as Harrisburg, sometimes Mechanicsburg, to get fresh meat. Yeah. So to have that in our community and in our, in our neighborhood, it will save us a lot. Yeah. And it's a much more entertaining. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. And it's very near to our home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all the Somali people, they live near to this place, so they're going to like it. Ah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It's a yeah. good place. The Somali community in this area is growing so much and there's a lot of need for fresh meat place or where we can come together and interact with other communities and know about the neighborhood. So it's a it's a very good idea and we, we really hope and we're excited for it. Uh -huh. yeah. Are there uh, more of the Somalis that have heard about this idea and what do they think about it? Well, a lot of everybody um, it's so excited about it, but we're praying for it when we hope it goes through. And it's uh, it's something that we need, and uh, for it's very ideal for everybody. We 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 spend hours and hours driving back and forth from here all the way to other cities just to get the meat. Mm. So it would be very ideal if we can have it in our neighborhood. Mm. So what do you think about this idea about having a, a fresh meat market right beside your house? I'd really like it. Um, it'd be great to find, you know, meat really easy. I try to eat locally, and uh, it's hard to get uh, meat, you know, in a lot of places. So it'd be great to have it right next door. <laughs> We're planning on opening up a fresh meat market up here where you can actually yeah. buy uh, chicken, lambs, and goats, and you can have them processed and clean. In 15, 20 minutes, you can come home and cook fresh meat. What do you think about that idea? Um, I like this idea since we uh, um, live right out in Clary, we usually have to go to John Harris to get our meats because that's where I'm always to go. But it would be much easier and more convenient for her to just go right around the corner and buy this meat. So I like it. One of the reasons that I'm involved in this project is I see the need. It's been more than a year and a half that I saw this need and I've been working in my heart towards something. Because it's been four years that I've been taking animals to the other cities. Philly, New York, uh, Connecticut, and other places like I mentioned in the video. And I'm like uh, talking to different people that live here. And they come to my house and they say, you know, we can't get fresh meat in the city. We got to go to Philadelphia to buy chicken. We got to go to Mechanicsburg and Harrisburg. And I just really have a, have a desire to do something here. And that's what drives me for this.